people experience Rochester and the Mayo Civic Center are celebrating the end of 2023 and the start of 2024 with a free event for everyone to attend. KIMT News 3's Maureen Dudley went to the event earlier today to see what's in store. A lot of people were gathered for the 6 p.m. balloon drop that just happened with many of the balloons being taken in by the crowd. The Med City gathered to celebrate the new year in style at the Mayo Civic Center with many coming to have fun. It's really great to see it being busy. I mean, right when we opened the doors at 2 o'clock this afternoon, we had a whole line coming in. So it was really cool to see the whole building this busy on New Year's Eve. With a big crowd at the beginning, many families were able to enjoy the dancing early as well as the roller skating and games. I really love this event because it happens once a year and it is something that my kids really, really do love. And it's just, it's just nice to have something more lively and fun. I'm happy and awesome. I think this is a great event, especially for kids about her age, elementary, middle school. I think it's a really fun, um, safe, clean activity for them to do. I feel good about it because it's really fun and um, it's like a day that you can like celebrate like, people's birthdays and the new year. It wasn't just kids and families enjoying the event. Rochester's mayor has been there celebrating the upcoming new year as well. This has been fabulous. It's been busy all day. It's fabulous to see families out celebrating New Year's Eve. Lots of fun activities, roller skating, dancing, music. It's been great. Here's to giving the Med City a happy new year. In Rochester, Maureen Dudley, KIMT News 3. And Celebrate Rochester is still going on through midnight tonight at the Mayo Civic Center.